Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. And last time out, I was making this, this approach that you see right here in front of you to the new Sudbury station. In fact, there is a train on its way in currently. Towards the end of the video, I was thinking a little bit about the, the gradient and the incline in and of itself, incline and decline, just depends on which way you're going, I suppose. But the gradient itself and how it looks very steep, and I worked it out and I thought it was about 1 in one in 27 or 1 in 25 or something like that. I thought that is really, really steep. Off camera, I took a look at some gradients in the UK and the steepest, the steepest gradient that I could find on an extended period of track I think was 1 in 30 1 in 34 or 1 in 35 this is steeper than that but then I saw that the approach into Farringdon station in London is 1 in 27 okay that is not too bad so because that one is 1 in 27 I'm going to leave this as it is. Do you think I should leave it as it is? Leave your comments right now at the start of the video. Do you think I should leave this as a feature that this has to have a, a bit more of an incline than you know I would want? Or do you think that I should rework this entire this entire layout? much further up and smooth out the gradient to perhaps 1 in 40 or something like that. In today's video though, as I said at the end of the last video, I'm going to be working on getting the express route running up to here. So now that I've got the track connected, that is great, but it is not yet in the state where uh, it should be effectively working. Um, Sorry, I've just been distracted by sounds and a, f a, a black flicker. If you are seeing a black flicker on your screen, I do apologise. I've seen it on my recording and I'm not sure what just caused that. There may be more. Anyway, back to what I was saying. The, the express service, the line is now completed. I have railways, but I do not have detail. I do not have speed boards and the speeds are not yet set for a fast train. So in this video, that is what I'm going to be fixing. Make sure you stay tuned. Fixing? Improving. Make sure you stay tuned. There is definitely some sort of flickering going on. But I'm not sure what is causing it. I'm going to keep an eye on it um, and hopefully it fixes itself. If not, I have no idea. But make sure you stay tuned. Let's get started. And uh, hopefully this is not going to be really uh, a total mess. Now I'm slightly concerned that this was a this was a problem in the last video as as well but I never noticed it. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on it. I've just checked all of my connections to ensure that uh, it, it is, they are okay. What speed, what speed was the, this was 15, wasn't it? It was 15, so I think 25 should be the, should be the approach speed. Where should I do 25 from? Let me see. This bit, this bit, naturally this bit. Not all the way down, that would be really bad. I think... I think that could... that could be okay. Yes, 25, 25 from this bit could be okay. What I do want to do is I want, I want the 25 to 
I want the 25 to all be in the same spot, so if I do this, I should be able, I should be able to, in theory, get the 25 in the same spot. So I do that, then switch all of this to 25 and that to 25. And now they're all in the same spot. Now, I'm not keeping these crossovers, by the way. The crossovers are going further up. I'm a, I'm quite stupid because what I should have done is... Actually, I can just do this. I should have put the 20... Why have you done that? Wait a minute. That is incorrect. You should be 60 in that section. Okay. Strange. Very strange. I should have left the crossover in and then put these signals up. Uh, okay. 25. Uh, all lines. No speed change, so I guess I could just put 25. 25. 25. 25, 60, 60, 60, there we go, that is that bit, uh, it is 15 into platform, so 15, 15, Important to mark that. 25 out. I have to also take into consideration signals, of course. Uh, oops. There we go. That and that. And then crossovers need to be built. I'll put the crossover slightly further back at 25, please. Thank you. That is one set of crossovers. Another set of crossovers. This one could be interesting. Um, when, when this line goes into action, it does not want to build that crossover for some reason. When this line goes into action, this could be interesting because I would need to peel another line in somehow and then connect it up to this crossover. Maybe this crossover should be closer so that I can peel this out easier. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And should I have the crossover? No. I'm going to put the crossover slightly further down. The reason for that is that if I do want to increase this just a little, I have that opportunity. Although I highly doubt that I'm going to, but I want to I want to keep the opportunity there. Okay. That is that done. The next thing I probably want to do is fence this. Can I get this Great Western Railway style fence? Hang on a minute. Fence. Oh. Yes, that, that is what I want. Because I want it along... No. 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 Okay. Apparently not. Yes, that... That is what I would like. Just a fence. Is this... Is this too much to ask? Apparently it is. 
Apparently that is too much to ask. Okay. No big deal. For now. Eventually, this is going to be a big deal because this is going to cause me problems. Right. I'm going to leave this as it is for now because that... I think that will look interesting in the future. Fill that up with trees and you will be able to see that something... Something was going on there. Back to upgrading train lines. 100... 100 miles per hour. Um, where does the 60 begin? Here. So, the 100 must also begin here. If you're wondering why this train is on the wrong side, it is because there was no... Uh, crossover so it could not get from platform to platform and that is that is the reason for that uh, I'll pop that to 102 why not watch the crash or potential crash should I say 100 oh this station may need Upgrades. Why are you not a hundred? Or maybe you were. Maybe you're the no masked one. You moved. Oh, you moved. You were doing so well. Right. Okay, and apparently this this area is not a hundred anyway. Why are you not a hundred? What's... What was my logic behind this? Okay, that... That is fine. I will put the... I'll put the 100 mile per hour signs in... Here. First time I'm using 100 mile per hour signs. There we go. Outside line, ah, 100 for now. That will do. It is 100 all the way through, but, but, I need to check these speeds. Because, yes, as I thought, this bit is not going to be 100. 80. I think, I think we will run at 80 over here. So, mark 80. And in this direction, mark 100 there. And mark... Uh, 60 for the tunnel. Okay, 60 for the tunnel. 100 there. Go back to this, so the 100 is okay. 60 for the tunnel, as I said. And then back to 100. 80 for... Where, where was it from? From... Oh. Why do you want to be so awkward? Where, where do I want this to go back to 100? I suppose there. I'll, I'll put the 100... 100. Just here. There we go. Uh, this bit. Okay. Because it is awkward, I will put the 80 there. 
and remove that 80. There we go. So now that is looking better. This I'm just counting as 100. It's just a slight. That, that just counts as 100. And then all the way up here it is 60. And that is fine. Okay. Next up, a little bit of detailing. Not a lot, just a little. And that detailing is going to be along the side of this, but giving it plenty of room. Whoa, come on. Because, of course, we are going up, 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 an embankment. Oh, you can connect up there. So how is this going to, how is this going to work? I suppose, remove that, put that there, that there with the straights, Oh, hmm. Not working quite as well. If I just very carefully do that, that works a little better. That can connect there. Give us some room on this side. All the way across. N nope. Uh all the way across there that is better and then up to there connect you like so you start there and work down and very slowly I suppose you are going to Turn in. Can I get a, can I get trees in this area? Have I left enough space for trees? Uh, I might have. I might not have. I think I have. I think I have. Should be okay. Still more flickering. I have no idea. Problem is, I have to get this recorded because of time constraints. Just wish I knew what was causing it. I've had this before. So I had the flicker before. And it was... No, that is really bad. That is really bad. I'm going to keep this episode fairly short. I will, I will keep this episode short because of because of the flicker. I'll try to end it in the next, uh, shall we say, 15 minutes. Uh, I do apologise. Or maybe, maybe that flicker will not even show up for, for you watching. Um, and only I can see it. It certainly isn't on my monitor. That is the thing. On my, on my monitor, as I'm playing right now, there is no flicker. It is just on the, on the recording. And I have no idea why. Uh, that looks good. That does look good. I think, I think I would like to paint this field. Well, let's have a poppy field, shall we? Yes, let's do that. Poppy field. I think that will look rather nice. Now the only thing I can think of that could be causing that flicker is a, some sort of overheat. But I'm not sure where that overheat would be. Um... 
I've been trying to fix some V-Sync issues that I've been having, which you may have noticed, maybe not in Transports Fever 2, but certainly in other videos, higher frame rate, or ones that I can play at a higher frame rate, Space Engineers, Euro Truck Simulator 2, things like that. There, have, there has been a significant amount of screen tearing. Now, unfortunately, that appears to be... What's that? Oh no, that's going to look a bit intentional. Now, that appears to be um, some sort of side effect of me running at 120 frames per second, but only recording at 60 frames per second. In theory, I thought that this new Elgato that I have was supposed to be able to do that. Apparently not. So I have dropped everything down to 60 frames per second again, just so uh, that screen tearing disappears. So monitor refresh rate is down to 60 hertz. Um, V-Sync is holding obviously the 60 hertz. Uh, frame rates are lower. It is all a bit annoying. But, oh, it's doing more flickering. But unfortunately, it is something that uh, I need to I need to do. I'll try and mix this in with something else going forward. There it goes again. That looks like significant flicker. Right. Unfortunately, that means that I will have to end this end this video very very soon. Uh, hopefully, it has been okay-ish enough to enough to view something or other. Um, but certainly, I do apologise for for every bit of flicker that you may be experiencing on your on the video so all I'm going to do is finish this little bit of detailing off and get the trains running in the next video you will see hopefully see the trains actually running so that will be that will be the plan for the next video. Uh, do that. And that bit along there. I mean, you can see the train running in and out of here anyway. It's still not running on, on the correct line, but that is... Th th there are reasons for that. Um, the reason is, effectively, that there's no signal, so it doesn't know what to do. There we go. That just tells me where the road is needs to needs to go okay going to put signals in now signal there signal there so all of these signals can go in signal there and there and there. And then... For this one, I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to have to put... Well, the signal is going to have to go there, but I'm also going to put a block signal here for it. And another block here. Oh, that... How did I not... Have I not done that? Oh, no. Dear, oh, dear. 
There we go. That is better. Also, just gets rid of the it gets rid of the uh, grass in between in between the ballast, which is always a always a good thing. It makes it look a little bit more uh, fresh, new, all of that kind of stuff. This bit needs to be ballast and will need to be smoothed out. I know I said I'm ending the video, but kind of finding all of these little problems I want to I want to fix. And I want to try and show you at least some of this. Oh, be careful with that. Be careful with the embankment thing. Oh, another flicker. I saw that. Why does it do this? Like, see, that is okay now. And now that is not. Okay, I think I just have to be very, very careful with it. There we go. Good. Paint. Ballast. Done. That is that bit completed. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, speed wise. Did say this is going up to 100, so 100 can go there. Of course, for, for this train, it isn't. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Where is it? Where is it? Can anybody see it? I most certainly cannot. So I was here and I pasted it and I put it down. It's over here somewhere then. But where? Oh no. Oh, this is, this is not. This is not what I was supposed to be doing. Looking for a misplaced sign. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can press configure on this one. Why is the LOD for the one a little bit strange? This should help me see this. Right. So somewhere out here. Okay, so somewhere in the countryside there is a there is a sign. There is a sign and I cannot I cannot find it. I have no idea what the sign says. I think it says 100. Um Oh, bother. Bother, bother, bother. Okay. What I wanted to do I wanted to drop this to to 60. I should probably change the track speed to 60 from uh ah. The other problem I have is now that I have this this at 60. Oh, yes, there there is this. There is this bit. The 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 small the small issue of the of What is that noise? The the small issue of this signal box that uh needs to be moved and these that perhaps needs to need to be moved as well. Uh, yes, hmm. that could be a cause for me having to do something. For now, I'm just going to... Something is making weird noises. 
and I have no idea what it is. For now, I'm just going to do that. That should actually start two-way. Yep, that's turned that into a two-way track. Good. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I do have to end the video there, uh, as much as I did want to continue. In the next video, you will see, I suppose, more, more of this, but with express trains running. I do not know what this noise is. I'd rather stop on the opposite side of... No, let's stop on the stream. Might look okay. Hopefully the train doesn't fall into the stream. That would be a problem. Could I also put another set of blocks on this? Just to give us an approach. But obviously this one is... This one will have more. Um, there we go. Okay, yes, express trains will be seen on this route um, in the future. In the next video, in fact, that was that was the entire point of this. Uh, this bit goes across. Um, I will then have a signal there for that one. That is okay. This bit is okay. I will have signals just there for this one. Opposite side is fine. Probably should have a set of signals over here to block this. So that's a block. That is a block. Oh, is this a block? Might need a block here some somehow. How how do I want to block this? So expands up to four. Stop here on this side. And expands up stop here on this side. Yes, if it if it manages to do that, that will that should work fairly reasonably. You just stop there, and for you, you must stop there. That allows the express service through. Um, do we stop it on the bridge? That is a question stop there and then and then in the tunnel oh I'm not sure about that that will have to be in the next video uh, I, I will look at that thank you very much for watching please remember to click on the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on transports fever 2 the UK modded series I do apologize again for the for the mess up with the with the flickering screen I have no idea how many times this has done it. Uh, hopefully not too many. Hopefully none at all, but I could certainly see it. If you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description box below, as are links to my social media and Discord server. I forgot I did that. That is all from me and an errant palm tree. And I shall see you next time in Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series where this will no longer be the only train that is running on this track. Oh, that is going to be really slow. I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, 40 miles per hour compared to a train chuffing along at 100. Hmm. That might cause some problems. I guess we'll find out in the next episode. I will see you then.